Okay, I'm going to attempt to demonstrate how to install the Adobe Flash Player um, from the command line. So we'll, in this case, we'll choose the tar.gz version for Linux, as you see right here. And that's the one we click on download now. Since I've already downloaded it, I don't need to do it again. Um, so we've downloaded the file and uh, we'll install it with, I mean we'll unpack it with the uh, tar command with uh, ZXVF switches. And as you see the resulting file is libflashplayer.so. Now of course we could have downloaded the, um, the version for your particular OS and and it you can run the the install program and it'll actually do it for you but in case you have a Linux from scratch or Slackware or one of the other systems is not listed in their lists of um, in the ones they provide a install application for this is the generic way to do it so basically all we have to do is simply move this file to the proper location but in order to do that we first need uh, admin privileges now we'll, we're able to move it oh I should have made a mistake the dash M will leave us in the same directory It'll make it easier for us because we'll have the file right here where we need to move it from. So we simply move the file to the plugins directory. Now user lib is usually where it's going to be if it's a 64-bit system. It's going to be user lib 64 more than likely. So in this case this is a 32-bit system. So the uh, Mozilla Firefox um, will be installed in that directory. So that's where we'll inst where we'll move the file to. Mozilla plugins, user lib, Mozilla plugins. All right, it's been moved. Now it should just work when we bring up a uh, browser and go to YouTube or something like that. We should we should see. Um, we should see it work and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it again you can download the ones for your particular system but if you don't happen to have one uh, this works for all systems so um, once you restart the browser or start it anew um, you can go to YouTube or something like that and confirm that it works but um, that should do it it's the process is the same whether you're um, upgrading to a new version of the flash player or you're installing it for the first time hope that's clear thank you for watching